Hello, I'm Nari McDiamond for MiningNews.net and I'd like to welcome Dr Mike Jones, Managing Director of Explorer Impact Minerals. Mike, it's good to speak with you again and for those who haven't followed Impact yet, how do you describe the company? Yeah, thanks Nari and it's uh, great to be here on uh, Mining News and so Impact has recently become a development company. We've been an explorer for many years, but uh, late last year, early this year, we came across a very unique project for high purity lumina uh, in Western Australia. And we have jumped on that project. Uh, we acquired the uh, the rights to an 80% interest in it in March. And uh, it's been nonstop ever since. It's a race to get into production as quickly as we can over the uh, the next few years. And, uh, and so... It, it's a big change in the company and the company's direction, and uh, but we're enjoying the challenge. And uh, it's been a busy six months uh, since we uh, started. And uh, in that time, we've uh, put out a maiden resource. Um, we've got uh, heritage clearance, and we're very close to releasing our scoping study on the project, which is going to have some very surprising numbers. I think uh, I think people will be taking a uh, sitting up and taking notice of the project at that point. And uh, and we've got our PFS work is uh, full in progress in terms of optimizing the processing uh, that we're going to be putting uh, onto the uh, onto the project. So yeah, it's a, an exciting time to be an impact shareholder. Well, Mike, before those numbers come out um, that you can talk about, obviously, what do you see as the highlights of the Lake Hope project? Well, Lake Hope, which is about 500 kilometres east of Perth, is a, 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 we think is a, almost a globally unique geological deposit. It occurs in the top two metres of a salt lake, and uh, there are many of them in the in the region, but these two in particular seem to have a unique set of minerals. Uh, they're very fine grained, and it's led to uh, an incredible natural advantage for both mining and processing of the material in the lake. So. The uh, the lake sediment in the top two meters contains uh, probably about nearly nine hundred thousand tons of alumina, uh, most of which we can convert to uh, HPA, and uh, the value of that material is in the in the many billions of dollars of, uh, of value, um, and yet we're going to be able to free dig it. Um, it's going to be dug up with basically uh, one man, a digger, and some trucks, and we're going to be able to remove the material and process it off site in an industrial yard in Kalgoorlie. And that'll do two things. One, it'll mean that the mining lease approval should go through in a very short period of time. We're talking, you know, maybe 18 months, two years rather than five to seven years if it was a more conventional, you know, mining project. And similarly, we believe that uh, because we've been in an industrial yard, we'll also get permitting for the uh, processing plant a lot quicker as well. So we're definitely, uh, to use a phrase, on the fast track to uh, to development uh, and production. So uh, globally unique deposit, and uh, we're very excited to be working on it. Well, in terms of keeping things on the fast track, Mike, uh, can you elaborate on the leadership behind Impact? Well, obviously, yeah, there's myself. And uh, look, we set up Impact to find a world-class deposit. And uh, those things are few and far between. And uh, we've given it a good crack over the years. But when I saw this project, I realized that this is this certainly has the potential to be a world-class HPA project. And that's why we made the decision to, uh, to jump into it. Uh, our chairman, Peter Unsworth, uh, he's been on the board of many companies, uh, junior companies, both in the mining and oil sector over the years. He was also the chairman of the Perth Mint uh, for 12 years for a variety of uh, for both Labor and, uh, and Liberal governments and uh, well-respected um, businessmen around Perth. And then the other key player is uh, Roland Gotthard. Now, Roland actually discovered the deposit. And what's interesting is that he, he actually did it back to front. So he thought about what minerals you might be able to get alumina out of. He did some literally some um, uh, kitchen top, bench top scale processing uh, with some of the material and then went out and found the deposit. So uh, you normally find the deposit and work out how you're going to process it. He did it back to front. And uh, it's a, it really is a, a truly great uh, discovery. And uh, yeah, so look, we've got the right team in place. Uh, we have one area that we will need to fill, and that's in the marketing side. It is um, uh, going forward, getting product in front of customers and going through a qualification period is a critical part of the HPA business and industry. And uh, that is a role that we'll be looking to fill over the next six to 12 months and, uh, and look to get product in front of clients and customers um, in 2024. 
Mark, it sounds like you've got a lot on the go. For any potential investors listening, what would you like them to hear? Look, we have a globally unique deposit. We're going to be providing a high purity lumina over the next two to three years at a time when there's a forecast supply deficit. HPA is a very high value and high margin commodity to be in. We believe that we're going to be one of, if not the lowest cost producer in Australia and even potentially globally. That's going to give us tremendous pricing power in that particular market. And I think that's going to bring the customers uh, flocking to us and uh, drive our market cap significantly higher than where we are now. So uh, it's uh, time to get on board. Mike, thanks very much for your time today. Thanks very much.